Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the middleware with React Redux Toolkit. So today we are going to learn about how to create the middleware in the React Redux Toolkit. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So Redux middleware allows you to intercept every action sent to the reducer. So you can make changes to the action or cancel the action. Middleware helps you with logging, error reporting, making asynchronous request and a whole lot more. So if you, I have already prepared a logging demo, so I will show you. Okay. So this is that one. So whenever I do the increment, you can see logging object type counter increment. So basically I have clicked on the increment. Okay, next state in nodes is empty, counter is one. Okay, so if I go with the decrement, action, counter, decrement, payload undefined, next state would be node and counter should be zero. So this is the middleware that I have been made with the help of the React Redis Toolkit. Let's see how we are going to do that. Okay, so here we go with that one. So this is the way, this is logger middleware which we have created. So here you can see that we have a store next and the action. So if you go with the action, so it will log the action result next action. So the next state store dot get state and will be print the result. Okay. Returning the result part. So this is a logging one. If I go back, so this is the logic that we are used for the logging part. Okay. So how to use that into our Redux toolkit. So here we have a middleware extend the default middleware with the custom middleware log middle so by default we have a default middleware okay so i'm just extending the feature of that one with the custom middleware that is logger middleware okay so get default concat log middleware okay so what did exactly the get middleware so let's i have defined each and everything so get middleware is a function provided by the redux toolkit that gives you the access to the default middleware provided by the toolkit. These default middlewares include things like Thunk, which enables handling the asynchronous actions as well as the middleware to check if the state changes are serializable. Okay. And then we have this for arrow. <coughs> okay. This arrow function that defines what happens next. Get default middleware. When get default middleware is invoked as a function, it returns an array of the default middleware provided by the Redux toolkit. Okay, so last we have a concat dot contact your custom middleware. The concat method is used to combine the default middleware array with your custom middleware function. This means you are extending the default middleware with your own custom middleware. Your custom middleware function named here we have a logger will be applied after the default middleware. Okay, so this is how we are able to do with the middleware. Any doubt, any query in that, just do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.